Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com and in this video I want to respond to a question that I received in a YouTube comment this week of how to be alerted or prevented if you type the same number or piece of text in a different cell of the same row. So we're looking for duplicate data in a row. And I've got an example here with numbers, but the same would work with text. Now I do like to try and respond to all my YouTube comments, uh, which is not really uh, possible, so apologies uh, for those I don't get to, to help. But I thought this question would be a, a good video to put up. Uh, so this is my response to it. And I want to use an example with data validation because we could answer this in different ways. We could use conditional formatting, I could use VBA, but data validation is a nice simple way of getting a little pop-up window to alert the user. So it's probably ideal for this person's needs. And I'm also going to use a function called COUNTIF. And this is a function that some of you would have heard me speak of before uh, because I love it. It's one of Excel's best and it's extremely versatile and very useful. For examples like this. Now here I've got my six columns creatively called one to six and I'm using numbers but as mentioned already the same would work with text. Now I'm going to write this formula into a cell to start with because if I go straight into data validation which I could well do um, you don't get any assistance when you're writing the formula. So it may you know, it's, it's encouraged, it's a good idea to write it into a cell first, even if you're a pro at this stuff, although it takes a tiny bit longer, you're less likely to make an error. So in this cell, I'm going to write the COUNTIF function. And this COUNTIF function will prompt me for a range and then for some criteria. Now we want to know if this criteria is occurring more than once really. If it occurs more than once, it's a duplicate. So we don't want that. So I'm going to start by selecting the entire range of cells of that row. So I'm checking each cell of that row. And I'm going to put some dollar signs before the column letters cell are fixed in play. Now this might be a little bit confusing at the moment. So although I think it's a good idea to write a formula in a cell, it's not given the greatest impression yet. Because when we do data validation, I'm going to highlight the entire table, so all of the cells. Whereas here I'm only writing a formula in one cell, so I'm only going to get one response. But data validation will respond to all of the cells. So I'm fixing the column so that it doesn't shift off that column and it checks up one value, but I need it to look at the other rows of the data that I will eventually highlight. In here, once that's done, comma brings me on to the criteria question, and I'm just checking A2. I'm checking that one cell of this range. And I want to know if that is occurring less than or equal to one time. Because when we put that into data validation, that's what we want. Only occur uh, once, really. Um, if you occur two or more times, then that is an issue for us. So that's the way I'm writing this expression. There are other ways. Let's copy and paste this into data validation so we can actually see the fruits for our labor here. We can see what I mean. I've taken a copy of that. I'll escape out the formula, select all the cells, click data, data validation, custom allowance, and I will paste the formula into the box provided. From here, we can go and create our own error alert. Now we have different styles. So this is where if you are looking to prevent them, you can use the stop. Or if you prefer just an alert, you can go for an information one. And it won't stop you, it'll just be a little box alerting you. I'm going to go for stop. I'll put the title as duplicate. And then the message as you have already entered that number. Click OK. And let's see it in action. 
So this row here already has a seven. If I replace this number with a seven, I am prompted that that number is already entered. Or indeed this number here already has a 42. If I put a 42 in, or this row, sorry, prompted again. So that is us using data validation to prevent, or indeed with the information uh, message. If I was to highlight those cells, and in data validation, switch it to information, keeping all the same settings, just alert the user, there's the message, I can just say okay and it lets me do it. So to either prevent or alert the user at two duplicate entries in a row. I hope you found that video useful. Please check out some of our other tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.